fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. How many of you are ready to receive that, that pleasures forevermore? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the fullness of joy. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, that we're not of this world. We are from you. We're in the world, but we're not of it. And we thank you that we've been set apart by the blessing of the Holy Spirit to worship you and to, to, to answer the highest call in our life, which is to be kings and priests, to minister to the Lord and allow him to transform us and do his bidding. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Let's lift our voice and give him praise. Hallelujah. Go ahead, son. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Bow down and say you are God. Everywhere, bow down and say you are king. Yes, the bow down and say you are God. Everywhere, bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? We can praise you now. Get victory. King of glory. Fill this place. Just want to be with you. Wanna be with you, King of Glory? Fill this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be. The world. Bow down and say you are God. Everywhere. Bow down and say you are King. So let's start right now. Why would we, King of Glory, King of Glory? this place just want to be with you just want to be with you oh, oh, oh King of glory fill this place just want to be with you just want to be with you Oh, let's start right now. Why would we wait? We can praise you now. In victory, King of glory, King of glory, fill this place. Just want to be with you. Of glory, fill this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How many are you thankful for the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. How many know you can be filled every day of your life, every moment of your life? Glory to God to have, have the visibility of God's Spirit on your life, the tangibility. Glory be to God. That's just a prayer acknowledging that in the name of Jesus.
Whom can you feel it? Heaven is reaching. Oh, can you hear it? Our God is speaking. Oh, can you see it? He's got your healing. Just receive it. Receive the freedom. I'm coming with a heart of worship. I'm bringing you a brand new song. I'm ready to see the unknown. I'm ready for a miracle. Hearts praying for a fresh encounter. Souls looking for the living God. I'm ready for a real revival. Holy Spirit, come like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, fall in this place. Fill our hearts. Holy Spirit, come like a fire, like a fire. Holy Spirit, come. When you're on the edge of new beginning, God, we know you got so much more. We're looking for new horizon. We're praying for your rain to pour. Head overflow, true redemption. Overflowing of your kingdom come. We're ready for a real revival. Ooh, Holy Spirit, come like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, fall in this place. Fill our hearts. Holy Spirit, come like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, come. Can you feel? Oh, can you feel it? Heaven is reaching. Oh, can you hear it? Our God is speaking. Oh, can you see it? He's got your healing. Just receive it. Receive your freedom. Oh, can you hear it? Oh, Oh, can you hear it? Our God is speaking. Oh, can you see it? He's got your healing. Just receive it. Receive the freedom. Come like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, fall in this place. Fill our heart. Holy Spirit, come like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, come. Oh, can you feel it? Heaven is reaching. Oh, can you hear it? Our God is speaking. Oh, can you see it? He's got your healing. Just receive it. Receive the freedom. Receive it, come. Just receive it, come. To the well of your salvation, to the well that will not run dry. Come, like a flood, like a fire. Holy Spirit, come. On this place, fill our hearts. Holy Spirit, come, like a flood. Like a fire, 
Holy Spirit, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, precious Lord. Precious Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Our redemption, our salvation is in your blood. Jesus, light of heaven, bread forever, a kingdom come. Jesus, our salvation. Our redemption is in His blood. Jesus, light of heaven, bent forever, His kingdom come. Jesus, our redemption is our salvation. Our salvation. It's in his blood. Jesus, he's the light of heaven. Friend forever, your kingdom come. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Be magnified. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Be magnified. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Be magnified. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Magnify. Take it all, take it all away. And you find no other name. Open up, open up my eye to you. Take it all, take it all away. Magnify no other name. Oh, open up, open up my eyes to you. Take it all, take it all away. Magnify no other name. Oh, open up, open up my eyes to you. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Be magnified. God be greater than the worries in my life. Be stronger than the weakness in my mind. Be louder. Let your glory come alive. Be magnified. Take it all, take it all away. Magnify no other name, oh, open up, open up my eyes to you. Take it all, take it all away. Magnify no other name, oh, open up, open up my eyes to you. Jesus, our redemption. Our salvation is in His blood. Jesus, light of heaven, bread forever, His kingdom. Sing it one more time. Jesus, 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 
my salvation. Oh, you are the bread of life. Oh, you are the well that will not run dry. Oh, in you is light, not light, it's life, all men. Oh, oh, light of heaven. God be greater. Then the worries in my life be stronger. Then the weakness in my mind be louder. Let your glory come alive, be magnified. God be greater. Then the worries in my life be stronger. Then the weakness in my mind be louder. Let your glory come alive, be magnified. Oh, mighty God. Oh, Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way. Oh, you are more real to me, oh, than any other person, God. Be more real to me. Oh, let's worship him this morning, the Holy Spirit is a person. Have your way, have your way. Be more real to me than the air that I'm breathing. Oh, I was created for worship. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How many people look forward to the day we'll see him face to face? Thank you, Lord God. We live in anticipation for that day, Lord is a newer song for many people it says there will be a day where we bow before him and when death will be no more standing face to face with he who died and rose again holy holy is the lord all of heaven declares holy is the lord we're going to join with them we're going to enter into praise and worship with them and we could do that now by standing and declaring holy is the lord it just says holy Holy is the Lord, oh, we declare, holy, holy is the Lord. Come on, reach for him this morning with outstretched hands with lift voices. We're reaching for the living God. This is how he asks us to enter into his presence with first a lifestyle of worship, but also lifted hands, lifted voices, kneeling before him. Declaring his goodness, declaring his faithfulness. We declare that you are good and your love endures. We declare that you are faithful, Lord. We thank you for your goodness, God. How I long to breathe the air of heaven. When pain is gone, mercy fills the streets. Just look upon. The one who bled and saved me, walk with him for all eternity. There will be a day when all will bow before him. There will be a day when death will be no more. Standing face to face. With he who died and rose again. Holy, holy is the Lord. 
with every prayer we prayed in desperation songs of faith sank to doubt and fear for in the end we'll see that it was worth it when he turns to wipe away our tear there will be a day when all will bow before him. There will be a day when death will be no more. Standing face to face, he who died and rose again. Holy, holy is the Lord. On that day, and on that day, we'll join the resurrection. Oh yeah, praise the Lord. Stand beside heroes of the faith. With one voice, a thousand generations singing worthy. On that day, we'll join the resurrection. Stand beside the heroes of the faith. With one voice, a thousand generations sing. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. a day when all bow before him. There will be a day when death will be no more. Standing face to face with he who died and rose again. Holy, holy is the Lord. So let it be today we shout the hymn of heaven. With angels and the saints, we raise a mighty roar. Glory to you, our God, who gave us life beyond the grave. Holy, holy is the Lord. We sing holy as holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is our God. just want to be where you are. I just want to be near your heart. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like your love. There is nothing like your love. It's just a taste of what is to come. I just want to be where you are. I just want to be near your heart There is nothing like your love There is nothing like your love Sing holy 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 You are holy Holy, holy, oh, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, I love you, holy, oh, yes, you are, Lord, holy, oh, yes, you are, Jesus. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, One more time, raise it up. With all the angels singing, holy, holy. you are holy, Lord. Holy, 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 yes, you are. Holy, oh, Jesus, I 
Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, so let it be today. We shout the hymn of heaven with angels and the saints. We raise a mighty roar. Glory to our God who gave us a life beyond the grave. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Tell him. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, oh, how I love I you love today. Oh, we love you today. Holy, holy. Stand and declare before the earth. Holy, you are holy. Holy, Jesus, holy. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Holy, holy, you are holy, 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 holy. holy. Jesus, I love. There is none like you. Worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I wanted to do. I gave you praise. For you are my righteousness. I worship Worship you, Lord Jesus. There is none like you. Worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise. For you are my righteousness. I worship you, Lord Jesus. There is not like There is none like There is none like you I could search for all eternity and law And find there is none like you I could search for all eternity long can find there is none like you. I could search for all eternity long can find there is none like you. Yeah.
there is none like you. There is none like you. Oh, there is none like you in heaven or in earth. There is none like you. I could search for all eternity, Lord. There is none like you. Let it be today. Shout the hymn of heaven with angels and the saints. We raise a mighty voice, glory to our God, who gave us life beyond the grave. Glory, holy is the Lord, glory to our God, who gave us life beyond the grave. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy is the Lord. One more time, come on, see, all together. Holy, holy is the Lord. You, God. Holy are you, Jesus. Actually, mighty, righteous. Your name. Your power, who can compare? Your beauty, who is like you? Oh, nothing is like him. Beauty of our God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Give a clap for him. Give a clap for him. For all your triumphs, all your victories, God. We clap for you. We give a clap for you, God. This is the shout of the Lion of Judah. This is the church of God. Lift your voices. Lift your voices. This is the shout of the King. Victory. Victory. Victory is yours, God. Victory is yours, Lord. You have triumphed over the enemy of our soul. You've given us life beyond the grave. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. It's not one person. It's got to be his whole. Hallelujah to Jesus. There's oh, a, glory to God. All of heaven is filled with angels and saints. Giving mighty glory God, to mighty God. Thank I'm you, Jesus. Lead. I'm just like the starter. I just started. Amen. <laughs> That's all I do. Oh, this bless, isn't the my Lord. Show. bless the Lord. This isn't about me. It's about thank him. You, Jesus. It's about thank Jesus. You, Lord. If you're going to clap, clap for Jesus, Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you're going to you, get Lord. touched, get touched by Jesus this morning. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Praise you, You Jesus. said, my sheep know my voice, Lord. We've come here to hear a word from you, God, and you alone. We don't want to hear Hallelujah. the idea Hallelujah. of man. We don't want to hear just a good, we, we don't want to hear a good plan. We want to you, hear Father. your plan. A God plan. Thank we don't want to hear a good strategy. We want God's strategy this morning. Holy. Your strategy Holy is, is both <laughs> hands lifted up, voices lifted up. Your strategy Thank you, is Father. Worship. Thank you, praise. Father. We give you praise, Lord. That's your strategy, Hallelujah. God, that we would enter into a lifestyle worship. We'll come here to hear a word from you, God. Would you speak? Somebody speak, better, Lord. Your somebody servant somebody is listening. Better, 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 better. Would you make that the prayer of your heart this Thank morning you, for yourself? Speak, Lord. Your servant Thank is listening. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Would you speak, God? Thank you, Father. We're here for you. Oh, glory, you. glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're here for you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're here for you. Would you just anoint pastor here now, God? Thank you, Lord. A word from heaven, God. A Thank word you. from heaven, Thank Lord, you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord. We pray your fire upon him, Lord, God. Thank you, Jesus. The fire of the Thank Holy you, Spirit. Thank Would you, Would you just baptize us this morning? Would you baptize me? Reach for him now. Come on. Would you baptize me? Glory God. With the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With the Holy, we love your word. Thank you, Jesus. We love your Thank word. You, Jesus. We esteem your word. We value your word. Lord God. We declare your holy. Your holy God. Your holy Lord. 
holy is the we Lord. We declare you are holy, Lord. God. We stand with all of heaven. You are holy, God. You are holy. You are holy. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. We receive it. We receive it now. We receive it here and now. Thank you. We receive your word, God. You receive Hallelujah. your word, Lord God. Thank Praise you, God, for Praise a mighty, Lord. accurate word from the throne Thank room you, of Father. heaven in Jesus' name. In Jesus' Thank you, name. Thank you, Lord. Let's all lift our hands one more time. Just thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. Just thank you. Just real sweetly. Just thank the Lord. Come on. Just out loud. Just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Now listen to me very closely. Everybody look up here, please. Thank you, Lord. You know, sometimes we just need everybody's attention. We, all, we need everybody's attention all the time, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes the Lord says, don't speak until you see the whites of their eyes. Amen. Hallelujah. So we all get it. If you need a miracle, you know, I, I know that sometimes we use the mir word miracle loosely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because we're so thankful we call everything a miracle, which is fine. But I'm talking about a genuine miracle, okay? Something you can't do that needs to be done. Yeah, you know? It, it takes a miracle. If that's you, I just want you to stand up right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of miracles needed. Now listen to me. Because the Holy Spirit said he wants to do some miracles. And he didn't use the word miracle with me. He, he's not talking about, you know, a small little thing that's a blessing. There's a different, how many of you know there's a difference between a blessing and a miracle? We got that straight? Okay. And I believe every blessing's a miracle, okay? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, but there's some things that are out of the realm what is a miracle? A miracle is an intervention on the normal affairs of life. A divine, supernatural intervention Amen. on the normal affairs of life. There was an axe head that fell into the water. It was borrowed. Well, you know, they, they went to the prophet and said, hey, I lost my axe head. And he said it was borrowed. How many of you, you borrow a tool, right, brother? You know what I'm talking about. If you borrow a tool from a friend, you want to give it back, right? And if you, if you can't give it back, your heart goes boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because tools, that's how he makes his living. You got to have those tools. And, and, and the, the prophet of God said, he commanded the, the word of the Lord, and, and all of a sudden the axe had flew. It, it, it disobeyed the natural flow of things and went to the surface. So God wants to do some miracles right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we just wait on you right now. Hallelujah. This is God's house. This is God's meeting. This is, you know, he's in charge right now. Okay. So we're just waiting on him. How many know it's a good thing to wait on the Lord? How many of you know it's a good thing to wait on the Lord? I said, how many of you know it's a good thing to wait on the Lord? Amen. Yeah, you can help me a little bit. Hallelujah. We were at a memorial service yesterday from my brother-in-law. Went to be with the Lord. And Alan and I were, and Pastor Sherry were just, we couldn't stop laughing because these two little kids behind us were saying amen at every single point where it deserved an amen. <laughs> Everybody else was quiet. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. But it was like, amen. Amen. They got it. They're just involved with the service. So you got to be involved. Hallelujah. If you need a physical healing, you know, this is just what the Lord said to do. Just come forward. Physical. We're going to get to the other ones in just a moment. But if you need a physical healing, come up here in the name of Jesus. Step out of yourself. Step into God. Lady asked me one time, she said, why do you ask people to get out of their seats and come forward? I said, I don't ask him to do it. God does. Come here, right up here. Just form a straight line. Right up here. 
Come on. Come on. Straight. Yeah. You know, Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. He wasn't kidding. He took clay and spittle and put it in somebody's eyes. Jesus did all kinds of different things. What was he doing? He's eliciting a response. That's all he's doing. He just wants us to respond to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now I want you to just put your hands in the air. And let's believe God right now. There's a tangible anointing in this room. It doesn't need me. It doesn't need, it needs us to just obey him. But right now there's a, there's a beautiful, beautiful, tangible anointing. On the way to church this morning, the Lord said, I want to do some miracles. I said, okay. Okay. Thank you, Father. And I want you to receive right now. Say, I receive the anointing of God from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we receive everything you have for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let that a healing anointing flow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. 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 Glory, glory, glory. I receive it, Lord. I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, let your healing power flow right now, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, receive. Everything you have for me. Lord, I receive everything you have for me. One more time. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Everything you have for me. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now one more time, just say it out loud. I receive healing anointing in my body with his stripes. I am healed. Amen. Take it by faith. And you can go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With his stripes, I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. I receive healing. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, if you got a, if you were ever served, those of you who remain standing, I'm going to get to you in just a second, so stand up. If you were ever served a notice to appear in court or something like that, you were served. And what would you tell somebody? Say, I received a notice. Well, now you can tell people, I received my healing. That's right. That's what faith does. Faith takes it and calls it done. Glory to God. He calls things that be not as though they were until they are. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now, if you need a, a financial miracle I, or some kind of a, a material miracle, could be a, a court thing, could be a, a financial thing. In the name of Jesus, the Lord wants to do that for you. So let's just lift our hands again. If, it, if that's you, hallelujah to Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you go beyond the natural. You go beyond the natural. Lord, when we stepped into your kingdom, we stepped into a kingdom of grace. And Jesus, you are our righteousness. Every righteousness that we have is yours. You've given it to us, and we approach your throne boldly. And Lord, we thank you that just like those fish to pay Peter's taxes, he said, the fish, go, go fishing and find the first fish. Lord, just like you did that, you paid a tax debt. Lord, when you fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes, that was a, a supply debt. A supply miracle. 
And God, we know that you can do exceeding abundantly beyond all that we can ask or think. Hallelujah. And right now, Father, we receive, we receive the blessing of heaven that changes the affairs of our life where we find favor with God and with man. And Lord, we just receive it right now. Just lift your, lift your hands and receive it in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name, in the name. In the name of Jesus. And I say it out loud. I call that need met. Come on, say it out loud. One more time. I call that need met. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your miracle, Father. Thank you for your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Did we miss anything? Thank you, Lord. Spirit, soul, body, financially, socially. These are the realms of life that we live in. And God, you know, he's, God tells us the just shall live by faith. Day in and day out, we're taught to live by faith. But how many of you know sometimes it's cool to have a miracle? <laughs> Miracles are kind of like Christmas and your birthday. You know, that don't, they don't happen every day. You got to plant seed and water and cultivate and reap and harvest. That's everyday faith. But sometimes there's a need for a miracle. And that's kind of like Christmas, your birthday, your anniversary, whatever. It just comes around once a year and it doesn't happen every day. Not supposed to. Because the way you live is by faith. So, hallelujah. If you need to impress your thinking, you can write that down. And today is the 7th of August. And it's around 10 to 11. And you can write that down and just say, at this time, this date, I received my miracle. I have done this on several occasions, and it's worked in my life. It has happened every time. Sometimes it didn't happen right away like that, but it happens. It's amazing how good God is. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm not in a hurry. You can just stay like just like this for another hour. And we'd be in the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But God wants to do something else. He wants, to, he wants us to receive our offering. So uh, we're going to do what the Lord instructs us to do. In 2 Corinthians, if you want to put this one up there, uh, Vicki. And if you could put the Amplified Bible, 2 Corinthians 9, 6. When God... When God brought us into the kingdom, he brought us into a place where <laughs> it doesn't work according to your brain. He took you out of your brain and brought you into a spiritual realm. And we're not talking about a super spiritual realm where you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. But the spirit of God wants to lead us and guide us and take us to places where our mind can't figure it out because it's by faith. So he says here, uh, let's just read it off here. Remember this, he who sows sparingly and grudgingly will reap sparingly and grudgingly. He who sows generously and that blessings may come to someone will also reap generously and with blessings. Keep going. Let each one give as he has made up his own mind and purposed in his heart, not reluctantly or sorrowfully. Remember the rich young ruler? He was sorry. He was sorry at what Jesus said because he had many possessions. I always say this. He didn't have possessions. Possessions had him. Amen. It, was, it works both ways. Sorrowfully under compulsion for God loves. Watch this. He takes pleasure in prizes above all other things. Uh, and is unwilling to abandon or do without a cheerful, joyous, prompt to, give, prompt to do it giver whose heart is in his giving. Then he goes on and says this, 
And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always, under all circumstances and whatever the need, be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. That means you can always be generous the rest of your life. You have a generous spirit. Well, that's the spirit of our father. That's the spirit of the kingdom of God. God's not a, he's not a stingy God. So uh, let's stand to our feet one more time and let's go before our king, go before our master, go before our maker. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you brought us out of a horrible pit, even out of the miry clay. And you set our feet upon a rock and established all of our goings. And Lord, we thank you. We're so thankful that, that on this first day of the week, we lay inside what you've prospered us with. And we can honor you, Lord with our substance, the first fruits of our increase, that our barns may be filled with plenty, that our vats would overflow, that, Lord, you make every favor and earthly blessing come to us in abundance, so that we may always, under all circumstances, be self-sufficient, having no need of support. But praise God, we can be generous the rest of our life, and we thank you for it. We call it done by faith, and we give you praise in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Uh, say it out loud. I'm blessed. Coming in and going out. Every bill of mine is paid by faith. Thank you, Father, that I can live debt free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead and have a seat. If you need an envelope for your giving, lift up your hand. And sister, uh, what's your name? It's Sarah. Hallelujah. Sister Sarah, will make sure that you get that. And uh, let's honor the Lord as uh, Alan worships the King with us. Thank you, Lord. Our God is love. His plan is good. He is the light in the darkest place. Lift your eyes with me. Our God, He reigns at His right hand. He is the name above all names. Lift your eyes with me. I see the Lord. I see the risen King, I see the Lord, He reigns. God, He calls us as His, all the pure in heart, all of the pure in heart will see. Lift your eyes with me. I see the Lord. I see the risen King. I see the Lord. He reigns. I see the Lord. I see the rain. King, I see the Lord. He reigns. Jesus, Jesus, I'm asking, won't you change my heart, Lord? Father, I'm reaching for your glory, your face, Jesus. I'm asking, won't you change my heart, Lord, Father? I'm reaching for your glory, your faith. I see the Lord, I see the risen King, I see the Lord. Lift up your eyes, lift up your gaze, lift up your eyes, yeah, lift up your face, Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, one more thing I, just before we get in the Word. I'm going to put these on the back table. There's a, there's a few of them, maybe ten of them. If you have not taken one of these or gotten one of these, I would charge $100 for this if I charged a penny. Today they're free. Today they're free. Don't you like that? I've, I've been to too many uh, sales meetings. <laughs> They're always going to be free, all right? They've, they've always been free, okay? But if I charged $100, I would not feel bad. That's how much I believe this. I didn't get, this is not even mine. I'm stealing it. So I'd have to give the $100 to him. But he's in heaven. So, uh, you know, praise God, his, his loss. Praise the Lord. You know, his name is Don Gossett, and I put I put the... Uh, if I get something from somebody else, I always put credit, obviously. But it's just, it's uh, my never again list. The things you make a commitment, you'll never again say. Now, don't make it a law, but you're saying, Father, help me not to talk like this. Amen. How many of you were raised in a household if you said some things that were, yeah, you got, you paid the price. I did. So there were things I would never say, at least in front of my mom, I would never say them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So uh, put those on the back table, would you please? But that's a, and, and they're based on scripture. So instead of saying this, I'm going to say this. We're not stop. We don't stop talking. Remember we said Wednesday night, the best investment you could ever make is to buy a, a roll of duct tape and put it over your mouth for about a week. <laughs> And see what happens with your life. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. You know, we, we need one of the things we need to do as Christians is give up our right to speak. Right. Yes. Now, I'm talking to God. I'm not talking about our, our civil liberty, okay? I'm not talking about a civil liberty. I'm talking about God. Before the Father, Lord, I give up my right to speak. Amen. Why? Because this mouth belongs to Him, the whole body belongs to Him. Isn't that what He said? You're not your own. You're bought with a price. That's what, that's what makes us so different. Well, it's a beautiful trait. He gives us salvation. He gives us a place in the kingdom. We get uh, access to the throne of grace. We get keys of the care. Every one of us gets keys of the kingdom. Glory be to not, not just keys to the door of the kingdom, but the whole kingdom. He gives us all of these riches and glory and and he blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And he calls us joint heirs with Jesus. Hallelujah. And kings and priests unto our God. And all he asks us to do is set a watch over our mouth that our tongue would not be disobedient. And I think that's a fair exchange, don't you? Yes. Hallelujah. An elderly lady said to me when I was real young in the ministry and she wanted to give me some money. And I said, no, I did something for her. And I said, no, I don't need anything. She said, well, a fair exchange is no robbery. And I thought, a fair exchange is no robbery. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> she, she was not going to let me leave without it. Anyway, so fair exchange is no robbery. Hallelujah. Let's go before the Father and let's open our Bibles. Let's go and ask the Holy Spirit to help us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We thank you that you teach us, God. Hallelujah. To be disciples taught of the Lord. You teach us, God, to continue in your word to be your disciples, to know the truth and the truth make us free. And we thank you that we have, say it out loud, I have ears to hear, eyes to see, a heart to understand, and the will to obey in the name of Jesus. All right. 
Hallelujah. If you uh, have one of these, you can open up. We, we are pretty good at sticking with it. But uh, whatever we don't finish here, we can do on Wednesday or uh, whatever else the Holy Spirit would have us do. But I want to start off with the scripture that's on there. And I apologize that it's kind of hard to read on the front there. But we're going to go to uh, uh, Jeremiah 7, chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. If you've been a Christian very long, uh, you probably know this scripture or have heard it and maybe heard it preached. But uh, since Vicki is so good at the, with that, we can. if you want to read along with me, you can. One, two, three. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, and that spreads out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat comes, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither cease from yielding fruit. Now, if you put in the uh, New King James, I believe it's the New Living NLT, the New Living Translation. He says he'll never stop producing fruit. He'll never stop producing fruit. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah, there it is. Never stop producing fruit. Pretty much the same thing. It just uses a little different direction. You'll never stop producing fruit. Turn to yourself and say, I will never stop producing fruit. I will never stop producing fruit. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's a powerful thing to tell yourself. Some people get tired and, and, and weary, and they, they, they're they not thinking about bearing fruit. They're thinking about if they're just going to make it. You know, I don't, I don't want to ever be a, a survivor in the name of Jesus. I want to be a thriver. I want to be a, a kingdom liver. Somebody says, I, I just survived the 60s. You know, oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You want to overcome, and, and that's what the, the Bible tells us, occupiers. What is the difference between when Jesus said, you're more than conquerors through him that loved you. More than conquerors, Romans 8. He didn't just say you won a battle. He said you're more than a conqueror. What's more than a conqueror? You won, and then you occupy. You take over. The areas where the devil has pushed us around, slapped us upside the head, made us hide in a corner and, and, and be afraid to even pray a bold prayer to God. He, he didn't just lose, <laughs> praise God. I'm taking ground in the name of Jesus. And I'm telling others about it. And I'm going to live as a more than a conqueror. So that's what we're talking about. The central truth, we started this last week on the, uh, the scripture in Colossians, where he says that we were bare fruit in every good work. The central truth here is no matter what, when, how, or why, we can always bear good fruit in every good work to fully please our Father. And we, we read the scripture, Colossians 1.10, where we, we, we can bear fruit in every good work. So I want to define fruit uh, this week. One of the things that you do is sometimes you just get things as soon as I get them. You know, some people travel around the United States and they preach in different churches and stuff. And you can develop a whole message. But they didn't get the whole message in one week. By the 10th church they've gone to, this message has developed. And uh, so I, I didn't give a definition last week. But I thought it would be a good idea to do that. Bearing fruit, uh, we can define it this way. Bearing fruit means yielding results and having favor a favorable outcome. Bearing fruit means yielding results. If you're an apple tree, you bear apples. So you would bear uh, the fruit of apples and have a favorable outcome, have a good harvest. Isn't that right? Amen. I, I always say this because it was, it, we had, it, where we used to live, we had, a, we had an apricot tree that was, the, they had the biggest apricots, the sweetest apricots, and they just, year after year, yielded so much fruit and they were in a planter box. And this guy, I remember this guy came over and he goes, how in the world is this thing growing? And he was a, I don't know what you call the people who study trees and stuff, arborist or whatever, botanist, a plantinist. <laughs> yeah, he, knew, he understood trees and, and, and shrubs and whatnot. But anyway, he, he even took pictures of it and took it back to his job. He said, this is uncanny how this thing is producing so much fruit. And uh, so 
That apricot tree, if you go to it, it doesn't produce fruit. It, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not doing what it's designed to do. So obviously being fruitful means that it will yield results and have a favorable outcome. Bearing fruit is what is when any promise of God, now let's put it into the Bible, when any promise of God or characteristic of Jesus and the kingdom of God is produced in us. When a promise of God is produced, when a characteristic of Jesus and the kingdom of God is produced in us, remember it says in Romans 14, 17, Romans 14, 17, who knows that scripture? Anybody know it? It's a quarter going on this. Can't cheat. Oh, now you got it. Okay. Okay. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but what? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So when you're producing righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, you're producing. Amen? It's producing in your life. That's called bearing fruit. It, 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 you know, John, he said in, in John 16, 23, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give it you. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give it you. And uh, so if I ask something, uh, if I ask the Father for something in the name of Jesus, and he gives it to me, I'm bearing fruit in that area. Can you say amen? amen. There's uh, in, we went over this before, but we'll, we'll just mention it. We don't take the time to read it all, but the fruit of the flesh. And in Galatians 5, 18 through 21, uh, you can put it up there, Vicki. We're not going to read the whole thing, but you understand the fruit of the flesh is what the flesh produces. You, you have a flesh tree, <laughs> if you will. And it's a, uh, it's, you know, uh, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, revelings, drunkenness, and such strife, wrath, witchcraft is in the fruits of the flesh. Did you know that? You, you don't think of the devil as such spiritual being. He's just the flesh. He, all he does is excite your flesh. Amen. And, and so these are fruits of the flesh. But if we go to verse 22, he contrasts, he says, contrasts but the fruit of the spirit is what? Love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. And against such there is no law. So if we're going to bear fruit in the kingdom of God, we want it to start with these nine things. Amen. Why start somewhere else? If you can't produce these fruits, you know, it's kind of like, well, if I can't walk in love, what's the point? Amen. Because because the whole kingdom it, it works by love. Faith works by love. So we want to be bearing that fruit, of course. The fruit of the Spirit is our recreated personality. Your recreated personality. What do you mean by that, Pastor Ed? Well, in John 3.16, it says, God so loved the world, right? He gave His only begotten Son, help me, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. That's verse uh, 17. But here's, here's the beautiful thing here. So God saves us, right? We called on the name of Jesus. Romans 10.10, 10, with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I always tell this, I'll never stop tiring of it. I listen to a cassette tape. The man preached the gospel. My brother asked me if I would listen to it, and I did. And uh, I, I, I fully intended to go to sleep and tell him I listened to it because I was listening to it. I was just asleep when I listened to it. But I stayed awake. I couldn't go to sleep. And, of course, I'm sure that's what he was praying would happen. And at the end, the guy prayed a prayer. And I, You know, praying a prayer at the end of a tape, really? You think that's going to help anybody? It changed my entire life. I said that prayer. And, and don't tell me saying things out loud doesn't mean anything. Because people won't just say anything. Sometimes I say, can you say this? Well, you know, you're so loving and gracious, you say it. And, but there's some people that you just, you just meet, you know, I ain't going to say what you want me to say. Who are you, my big brother? Had you ever have any in your family and tell you, you know... <laughs> <laughs> they, they pull your arm and make you try to say something. They cry uncle, cry uncle. 
And then when you cry uncle, then you'll let them go. But if they don't, you just do it harder and harder. Anybody ever do that? Yeah, okay. So I don't want to say what you're telling me to say. But we don't try to do that. What we're doing is we're, this is a training ground. This is a training ground, and we're doing spiritual exercise here. And if we do that, we're just asking you to repeat something that's in the Word. I'm not going to ask you to make up something, you know. I'm going to ask you to say something that's in the Word, something that you could say outside of this building that will help you grow. Can you say amen? amen. All right. Like that right there. Amen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lord. So uh, that night I, I prayed this prayer and I said it out loud. He said, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And he, he quoted Romans 10, 9 and 10. I was, obviously, the guy's quoting from the Bible, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. And I'm telling you, God is my witness. <laughs> from that moment till now, it's just been a, a ride with God. Just a ride with God. The Lord led me to Sherry. Hallelujah. And... Uh, I was, I said, well, God, you, you know what you're doing. I'm, I'm in for this whole ride now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So uh, anyway, so you, you just trust God one step at a time for your life. The fruit of the spirit is our recreated personality. These nine fruits of the spirit. Now you, you got one of these inserts. Did you get one of these? Should be there. And it lists the nine fruits of the spirit. There's love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faith or faithfulness. Gentleness or meekness, self-control. It depends what translation you're reading. But we give a, a little definition of each of these. And there's, there's a lot more. Uh, it depends what you're reading and so forth. But these will, these will stead you good. And I put the definition of bearing fruit up there. Love, God's agape. Unconditional, freely, freely given in Christ. Hallelujah. We have this love as part of our recreated human spirit. When I got saved that night, I could not explain. I woke up the next morning and I said, that was beautiful. That was beautiful last night. And I just said, it was like this presence was in the room. You know, it's like somebody walks in here. You don't, you don't ignore them, especially if you believe it's God. You don't want to ignore them. I, I said, I said, I thought, I had this thought, nobody needs to know what happened. This is between me and God. I could be an undercover agent the rest of my life. You know, nobody has to know. But I said, I just lifted my hands and I said, Lord, what do you want me to do with my life? It was like the obvious thing. In Acts 2, when they had revival in the upper room, Remember when the Holy Spirit was poured out and said the day of Pentecost was fully come and they're all filled with the Holy Spirit, began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And then they went out into the streets. Hallelujah. And they, they said, these, these men are drunk. They're full of new wine. And Peter stood up and preached a message. He said, they're not drunk as you suppose. He said, they're filled with the Holy Spirit. This is what Joel talked about. That in the last days, I'll pour my spirit out on all flesh. Amen. Everybody say, all flesh. That means your flesh, where you've got all your problems, is in our flesh. God said, I'm going to pour my spirit out on your flesh. <laughs> Amen. So you can have some help to walk this walk and live this life. He said, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Woo! Glory to God. I have never prophesied in my life. I've been in church all my days. I never missed a Sunday of church. Never. That's, that's God's, God's absolute truth. Never. But I never heard anybody prophesy. I never thought I could prophesy. I prophesy. What is prophesy? It means to boil over, to speak forth, to speak unto men, to edification, exhortation, and comfort. And you know what? Within a month, I was prophesying. As soon as I knew what it was, it just, because there was something on the inside so much bigger than anything that's on the outside. I used to be a beetle nut. I mean, anything beetles, I beetle, beetle, beetles. I'd, list, I'd do beetle month. I'd do beetle week. I'd do beetle day. I'd play all songs that started with A. All songs, uh, you figure every way you want to slice it up. I did it. 
And I'm telling you something, that thing became, so what? Who cares? I wanted, instead of John, Paul, George, and Ringo, I wanted Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> Amen. Well, hold on, watch that quartet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, yeah, the Bible keeps selling and selling. Talk about a number one hit. Praise the Lord. But, but the point is, it's not because I dislike that or dislike that. It's because I found something that I was made for. I, I, I was introduced to something that created me. And I suddenly had his DNA. And I didn't have an argument with anybody like this. And my argument with him stopped. And I found peace with God. And suddenly... I wanted to love my mom because, you know, we, we bumped heads pretty good. I just wanted to hug her. I, you know, I just wanted to say, forgive me. I've been a nut, a fool. And, and, and I, you know what I'm saying? And, and just this love, this liquid love, just whoo, glory to God. That doesn't come through taking a six week course on how to win friends and influence enemies. I love Dale Carnegie, but, and he's a Christian, but, and he has great teaching stuff, but you got to be born again. You know, God's not looking to make uh, evil men good. He's looking to make dead men alive. And that night I was born again. I was made alive unto God and I got life. Praise the Lord. So the, the, the fruit of the spirit is our recreated personality. God wants to give you a new personality. They are God's attributes in Christ, a characteristic or inherent part of someone. That's what it means to have God's personality. It's, a, it's the characteristic or inherent part of someone. God put his characteristics and his personality inside of us. Now we have to develop this because it's part of your spirit, but you still have a soul. Can you say amen? Man is three parts, your spirit, and body. one, two, three. Spirit, soul, body. Spirit, soul, and body. First Thessalonians 5.23. He said, I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the Bible bears out that we're a spiritual being. We have a soul and we live in a body. The body is what we use to contact this earth. That's why the devil is illegal. He doesn't have a body. That's why he seeks people. He wants to get inside people so he can do his bidding. He cannot function outside of our, our bodies. That's why he seeks wow. to possess people. Wow. Amen. The Bible said the, the devil walks about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But guess what? He's not devouring everybody. There's some people said, no, 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 no. How many of you know <laughs> Mukembe Mutumbo? <laughs> he played basketball. <laughs> they had this commercial, and he's swatting away. He's like seven foot, you know, and he's swatting away these basketballs. And he goes, no, 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 <laughs> not in my house. <laughs> well, that's what we need to do to the devil. No, 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 not in Jesus' name. You don't bring that here. I'll swat that thing away. <laughs> I've been given authority in the name of Jesus. I wasn't just saved from my sin. I was made a new creature. I was given a new personality. I was given the keys of the king. I was given authority. All right. And so these, these things like natural growth, they need to be developed. They need to be developed. Hallelujah. There was a guy in, in, in Tanzania. And there was a, an old, pre, an old, old preacher. He was, wasn't old at the time. Okay. He lived in a different era. T.L. Osborne. He, he maybe died maybe 10 years ago, I guess, but he, he brought the gospel, uh, in power to the nation of Africa in so many different ways and taught so many different people. He brought over he, he, amazing ministry, T.L. Osborne, but T.L. Osborne was preaching and this young man came. He was a convert. And they had these little meetings they did for three days. And they taught on six things. God is who he says he is. You are who God says you are. God has what he says he has. You have what God says you have. God can do what he says he can do. And you can do what 
God says you can do. Those six things, so simple. Would you agree? I mean, that's so simple, you, you, you'd need help to mess it up. He heard that, and, and uh, uh, his name was Peter Amakami. Peter Amakami, I think that's how you pronounce it. And, and he, he was so lit up. And then he went to the, T.O. went to the next place, and he, he, he couldn't find Peter. And because Peter made an impression on him and he made an impression on Peter and he couldn't find him for about, I don't know, about a couple months. And then finally, he he had another meeting and here comes Peter. He said, Peter, where have you been? He said, I've been going around telling everybody six things <laughs> that God is who he says he is. You are who God says you are. God has what he says he has. I have what God says I have. God can do what he says he can do. I can do what God's. He said, I've been going and telling people. And he brought all kinds of people to the other meeting. He, he started living as an evangelist immediately. So uh, there's some of these things can be developed overnight. If you'll just let God use you. If you'll open your heart and your, and, and your, your life to him. Kingdom fruit. I already mentioned this scripture, Romans 14, 17. The kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. John 17, 21 says the kingdom of God is within you. Another translation says the kingdom of God is in your midst. What's he talking about? The kingdom of God is here now. Remember Jesus prayed. This was before he went to the cross. He taught his disciples to pray. The disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. And the Lord said, okay. He said, pray after this manner. He didn't say you have to say this prayer. He said, pray after this manner. This is what, this is what you, the, the, the ingredients of a prayer. That you can pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be the name of the Lord. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Now we can look back after the cross and say, your kingdom has come. Come on, say it out loud. Your kingdom has come. Why do we know that? Because Jesus told us the kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is in your midst. What is the kingdom of God? It's the realm of God's reign. You go to anybody's house, there's a little kingdom there. You go to my house, there's a kingdom there. It's my kingdom. Amen. I, I want it to be as godly as possible. <laughs> so, but every once in a while, you might get a rule or something that's my kingdom. All right? Uh, hallelujah. You Don't look at me in that tone of voice, because if I go to your house, it's the same thing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't bring your dog in here, okay? We don't allow dogs in the house. Or bring your dog, bring your cat, whatever your little kingdom is. But we all have little things that we do, and that's fine and dandy. Amen? Uh, but what I'm telling you, God has a kingdom. And if we learn to walk into his kingdom, his kingdom results will show up. And this is what we talk about bearing fruit. If we welcome the Holy Spirit into our conversation, into our life, into what we're doing, then the Holy Spirit's going to bear fruit in our life. Can you say amen? Yeah. How many of you want miracles in your house? Well, then you got to welcome the Holy Spirit. You can't just walk around as a, as a fleshly dictator, you know, in your house. you you got to say, Father, thank you. We welcome your spirit in this place. May you be glorified in what we think and what we do and how we act and what we, what we read, what we watch, and so on and so forth. you got to welcome the Holy Spirit. So uh, the kingdom of God is not dependent on this world to function. Listen to me closely. The kingdom of God is not depending on Joe Biden, on President this guy, President that guy, President her, him, whatever. Senator this guy, Mayor this guy. The kingdom of God is not dependent on politics. The kingdom of God is dependent on the church, acting like the church. Thank you, Jesus. As much as we want to vote and get involved, and everybody should, if you're not, I'm just praying God wakes you up, get involved, and get involved in a good way, in a holy way, in a prayerful way. Amen. I want to hear some amens. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. But we, our bread and butter is the Holy Spirit and the kingdom of God. If the worst case scenario was we were serving under a dictator, and people are being beaten for their faith because it's happening in this world. In China, people are beaten for their faith. In other parts of the world, the same thing. 
Well, they got that one guy that's in the, in, in, he's in Russia, and they sentenced him 14 years because he had some medical marijuana. And, he, and the guy is, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's, a, he's a professional. He's got all kinds of accreditations and so forth. But he's being held for 14 years because he had medical marijuana in his uh, deal. Well, see, you could be under that kind of regime. You could be under that kind of a thing. But what is God telling us? I know people that live in, in Russia. I know ministries that are headquartered there. And they're having revival because they preach the kingdom. They preach the kingdom. They preach the kingdom. Come on, somebody help me. They preach the kingdom. They preach the kingdom. Guess what? People want that kingdom. They want the kingdom of God. Tell me how the kingdom of God works. Oh, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So this is, this is fruit we can bear. Uh, your kingdom, we have to pray that your kingdom has come. Your will be done. In Mark chapter 4, verse 20, he said, They that were sown on good ground, talking about sowing the, the sower sows the word. So why is that so important? Because that's how the kingdom works. Jesus said at the beginning of this parable, he said, The kingdom of God is if a man casts seed into the ground. And he goes to bed and he gets up and he goes to bed and he gets up and it grows up. He knoweth not how. I don't know how this little seed becomes a miracle. I don't know how this seed of healing becomes healing. I don't know how this seed of prosperity becomes prosperity. I don't know how it works, but I know it works. I don't have to know how it works. Hallelujah. All I have to know is the day my mom put her foot down in our home, which was total chaos, with eight kids doing crazy things. I should say seven because my other brother had moved out by then. But, but the day my mom just put her foot down and said, no, in the name of Jesus, she painted red, red paint on, on the doors of our, our, our house like, like they did in Egypt when they, when, when they put blood on the doorpost. She didn't kill an animal. Thank God for that. But I, I thought she went, I thought she absolutely lost her mind and went cuckoo. I got the red paint, you know, Charles Manson was on at that time. I thought, man, she's joined the Manson family. What's wrong with my mom? But she's got on fire for God. And she said, devil, you're not coming into our house anymore. You're not, you're not coming past this threshold anymore. You know, and two years later I got saved. But the thing is, you know, you, you take a stand and you just say, I'm going to start, I'm going to start bearing fruit. Some 30, some 60 and some a hundred fold. Some 30, some 60, and some 100-fold. Can you imagine living in a 100-fold return of every scripture that you're standing on? Glory be to God. So, Pastor Ed, that can't be true. Read it. Read the fourth chapter of Mark and, and, and fast and pray and, and just read it. And let it get inside you. It gets bigger than anything. And people say, uh, inflation, this, that, and, you know, gas is $17 a gallon. That's not going to stop God from his kingdom going forth. You cannot live according to the dictates of this world. Yes, it, it, it can be painful. Yes, things do happen. And yes, uh, you know, I don't like it as much as you don't like it. But at the end of the day, I, my kingdom is not of this world. Praise the Lord. My kingdom is, is in Jesus. All right. Blessed and never stop producing fruit. Okay, you got to listen quickly. All right. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 17. We're going to start with verse 4. Please, Vicki. And we'll catch this in context. Jeremiah 17, 4. This is one of those scriptures when you hear it, you just want to read it and read it. It's like a, it's like a good steak. You just want to take your time and just cut it slowly and, or, or a beautiful, beautiful salad and <laughs> eat it wonderfully. <laughs> so I didn't want to offend either one. So <laughs> here we go. And even you yourself, uh, the, 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 let's go to verse 5. Thus says the Lord, cursed be the man that trusts in man. And makes flesh his arm, and whose heart departs from the Lord. So we have a person who's trusting in the arm of the flesh. He's trusting in himself, trusting in man, trusting in the power of man. Usually we do that because that's where the favor looks like it's coming from. And you just be quiet about this, that, and the other, and just go a little, go with the flow. Go with the flow. Yeah, you'll be flowing down the, down the river the wrong way. 
He said, this person is going to be cursed. He departs from the Lord. Verse 6. For he shall be like a heath in the desert and shall not see. Watch this now. Shall not see when good comes. When you trust in your flesh, you can only see certain things. Only fleshly things. You only see what tickles your flesh. Your eyesight becomes very limited. Your perception becomes extremely narrow. They talk about Christians being, oh, you're narrow-minded. I had a person, you're narrow-minded. I said, well, the Bible does say uh, uh, narrow is the way. So I guess uh, in some ways I am narrow-minded. But I said, I'll tell you one thing, you can never stop me from loving you. And I'll tell you something else, you'll never outgive me because I'll always outgive you. Amen. You, I can offend you, but you can't offend me. I'm rubber. You're good. No, no. <laughs> Bounces off me. Sticks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. So he won't see good when it comes. Good could be right in front of your nose and you can't see it because you're trusting in the flesh. All right. But watch this. Verse seven. Blessed is the man or the woman that trusts the Lord, whose hope the Lord is. See, I don't have natural hope. I have hope in him. He's the source of my hope. And hope maketh not a shame, Paul said. Anyway, let's keep going. He shall be as a tree. Everybody say a tree. Planted by the waters. Man, this tree wasn't just stuck somewhere. Some guy didn't even know what he was doing. He planted this tree out in the desert. But this one's, hey, there's some good water supply here. Why? Because the roots just love that water. Mm. The roots are just going, they're, they're just having a party down there. Because they, they got, <laughs> they got they're, they're passing out drinks left and right. Drinks of water. Amen. Spreads out her roots by the river and shall not see heat when it comes. But her leaf shall be green. One translation says, her leaf shall remain green. Hallelujah. And shall not be careful, full of care in the year of drought. Now, this is the part I like. Neither shall cease from bearing fruit. You shall not stop producing fruit. You just won't stop. Nobody can stop you. You won't stop talking faith. You won't stop singing faith. You won't stop declaring the goodness of God. You just don't stop. Nobody can stop me. The economy can't stop me. A war can't stop me. A threat can't stop me. I've had guns put to my head. I've had people uh, surrounding me at, at 12 o'clock at night. Four big people. I, I've had situations that, you know, w- would, scare, would scare you in the natural, but it didn't scare me at all. At, at first, it's like this moment. You could take that fear. It's almost like you could pick that fear or you can just. See, here's the thing. When you get used to the anointing, you, you, learn to, you learn to call on that anointing. Uh, and every time I've called on the anointing, I start preaching. This comes out. Hey, praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Who wants to pray? Who, who needs a miracle? A guy wants to, he wants to steal your money and you tell him, who, who needs a miracle? Well, how, how does that make any sense? But that's, that's how God's power is released. You see, you start preaching. So you need to, you need to, we, we all need to understand we're in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is within us and, and the kingdom of God is right here. It showed up when I showed up. Listen to me closely. The kingdom of God shows up when Steve shows up. The kingdom of God shows up when Daniel shows up. The kingdom of God shows up when, when, when anyone here that's saved. Norm, when you show up, the kingdom shows up. So oh, that sounds very uh, self-aggrandizing. It's just the truth. Why did Jesus send his disciples out? To declare the kingdom of God. It won't get done unless we do it. Though angels, angels don't save people. Remember when, when, when uh, <laughs> he, he's talking to Cornelius. Cornelius is, he's giving alms. He's just a very generous man. He's, he's a godly man, but he's not saved. He said, Cornelius, go down to Simon's house, the tanner, and I'll tell you, he will tell you words. The angel appeared to him and said, 
Simon, uh, or rather uh, uh, Cornelius, go down to Simon the Tanner's house and he will tell you words whereby you must be saved. Because it was not given for angels to preach the gospel. It's given to men and women to preach the gospel. Angels can't preach the gospel. Hallelujah. But you can. So as we close up here, we're just going to close up with these last thoughts since we've gone through it. Number one, you're blessed. Number two, the Lord's your hope and confidence. This is under number three. Blessed, never stop producing three. Uh, fruit. Letter A, you're blessed. Letter B, the Lord is our hope and confidence. Letter C, you're like a tree by the water. These are things you can say about your life and yourself. I say, Sherry, we're like trees by the water. We're not going to dry up. Are you kidding me? We just stay strong. Hallelujah to Jesus. Uh, we shall not see in fear when heat comes. That's not going to affect us. Maybe at first, but you know what? If you keep trusting God, God is our shade. I remember with Sherry, Sherry, one time we were standing there. I was dating her, and, and, and it was hot. And she's, and I said, wow, it's, it's really hot. She goes, well, the Lord's our shade. And I said, I said, is that in the Bible? She said, yeah. So I, I looked it up, and I said, I told her next time, you know, the Lord's our shade. I, when I hear people talk faith, man, I want to know. I'll, tell me where that is. I want to know it. And I want to get it in my vocabulary. I want to get it in my heart. Uh, so he'll not see fear when, in, when the heat comes. His leaf shall be green. Uh, G shall not be anxious or full of care in the year of drought. Fear has no place in your life. Anxiety has no place in your heart. It happens to us all, but it doesn't have to stay there. You can't keep birds from flying over your head, but you can keep them from building a nest in your hair. Last one, you'll never stop yielding fruit. Let me close with this last scripture. Put it up there, Vicki, Psalm 92. We read this last week, but I want to read it again. Psalm 92, verses 12 through 14. And this is our last scripture here. Hallelujah. You know, I don't have to stop yielding fruit. Those nine fruits of the Spirit are going to come out of my life. If, I, if joy is not going to get it done, then love will get it done. If love doesn't get it done, then, then, then uh, peace will get it done. If peace doesn't get it done, then, then long-suffering will get it done. If long-suffering, meekness and faithfulness. There, those, it may be a combination of those fruits. But I have nine things I can do at any moment to display God's kingdom. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord. Everybody say, I'm planted. Come on, say it again. In the house of the Lord. I'm a tree planted in the house of the Lord. Oh, pra praise God. Amen. Shall flourish. You weren't called to barely get along and be like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. How many of you know Charlie Brown's Christmas tree? I mean, you can be thankful for that tree. Maybe one year, but that's the last year I'm getting a tree like that. <laughs> I remember the first year we got a tree. Oh, it was so tiny. It was like, you know, but I said, honey, this is the last year we're getting one of these. <laughs> I said, we're going to get a tree next time, okay? Anyway, we like trees. Anyway, uh, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. You're called to flourish. Hallelujah. In the midst of trouble, not because there is no trouble, in the midst of it. In the courts of our God, they shall still bring forth fruit in their old age. I don't care how old you get. You can be as fruitful as you were when you were 16, 22, 32. They'll still bring forth fruit in their old age. They shall be strong and flourishing. The word fat is strong, King James. Hallelujah. I think I put a different one in, the, in your notes there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But anyway, hallelujah. I mean, did we, did we present a case here this morning? Wednesday night, we'll talk about being planted by the Lord. There's, there's some good nuggets in there about being planted by the Lord. But you know... This is our heritage, church. This is who we are. 
I, I just exhort you to take this outline and, and whatever speaks to you, man, just feed on it, feed on it, feed on it. Because God wants to make it real in your life. Real, real enough to when you get together with people and they want to argue about politics and all that, you got something to say about the kingdom. Oh, thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you for your goodness right now. I thank you for your loving kindness. Lord, you, you, you love us so much. You want to spend time with us to train us. To bear fruit in every good work. To bring forth fruit. Now and even in our old age. We're so thankful, God. We're so thankful that you've turned things around in so many lives in this room. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God says, there are things that I long to do in your life. There are things I long to do in your marriages. There are things I long to do with your outlook on the future. Pay attention to my Holy Spirit. You are going to be forecasting your future. Spend time with me and I'll show you what to say. Spend time with me and I'll show you what to declare over your life. For truly I'm waiting on you to build your future. That your tree would never cease yielding fruit. And you begin to plan for harvest down the road. And truly the scripture shall come to pass. They shall bring forth fruit and they shall never cease from yielding fruit, says the Spirit of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the Lord. Let's lift our hands and thank him right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did anybody receive anything this morning? Praise God. Hallelujah. We're, we are the church. We have a meeting here, but we're the church out there. Amen. We go there and we talk to people. We, 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 we offer to pray for them and we expect the kingdom of God to grow and flourish. You have something. Are you ready? Do you want me to tell another story? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Let's all stand up together while he's looking for something. Let's thank our Father. Let's just thank him. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we love you. <clears throat> we magnify your name, Lord. We magnify your name. We magnify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you for your grace, Lord. Your grace has made a difference in our life. Your grace has made a difference. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Go ahead, son. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Everybody's seeing up me at my one of my lowest moments. I got literally got nothing for you. And those are the best times, you know, in our weakness, his power is made perfect. God chooses weak things to shame what is strong. He chooses foolish things to shame what's wise. We serve a big God. He's bigger than any problem. We need to 
start telling our problems how big our God is, not God, how big our problems are. Let's do that this morning. With all the angels singing, holy, holy, you are holy, holy. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. all the angels singing. Holy, 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 holy. You are holy. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. And all the other names fade away. And all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. And all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hearts open wide as the sky. God, we lift your name high. Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let all the other names, and the other names fade away. The names fade away till there's only you. And all the other names fade away. And all the other names fade away till there's only you. And all the other names fade away. And all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And all the other names fade away. And all the other names fade away. Still, there's only you. And all the other names Fade away, Jesus, take your place. 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 Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. God, we lift your name high. 